and welcome to Get Help Dad Podcast. It is September 15th, 2022, Thirsty Thursday. Let's kick it off with a dad joke. <laughs> Went to a wedding between two satellites. Wasn't that great, but the reception was awesome. <laughs> you know, Prague's always interest me. I'll have to check it out sometime. For the mighty mountain king! Wi-Fi off. Wi-Fi on. So let's quickly talk about Thirsty Thursday. I know we're all thirsting for the weekend, but... We're going to make sure we're going to prepare for what you got going on this weekend. I got a couple of baseball games with my son. Another son has a flag football game. We got practice coming up. Make sure you're planning out what you're going to do. And if you can, start prepping. Start getting those baseball uniforms ready. Those flag football gear in the bag and ready to roll. So the Thirsty Thursday um, story for me is recently this year I had kidney stones and found out. Um, I wasn't drinking enough water or or liquids in general. Um, Kidney stones are one of the probably most scary and painful thing I've ever had in my life. Um, I thought I was dying actually at the time and had to get the ambulance because I couldn't get off the floor. Um, It's no joke. It's something you should always take care of and think about. The Thirsty Thursday tip I have that was given to me is, is you want to make sure that you're drinking enough water and liquids all through the day. Um, we had to do a urine study, which was fun. And you have to make sure that you are peeing about two liters a day, depending how tall you are or how small you are. That may adjust a little bit, but it's actually not that much. My doctor recommends trying to get a hundred ounces of water a day, if possible, close to that. What that does is make sure your body flushes everything out. And what kidney stones are is just a deposit of some of the stuff in your system where you're not drinking enough water. Um, Some of that deposits stay in your urinary tract and the urinary tract gets clogged up with different crystals and those crystals can be very painful to pass. So my recommendation, make sure you're drinking enough water. Don't drink just too much coffee. Drink as much water you can. Have a glass in the morning, have a glass in the evening and a glass in the middle of the day. You should be in good shape. Remember it's rough out there. Nobody's perfect. The only thing that's perfect in the world are my jokes. And here's one more. My family just finished watching a documentary on beavers. And it was the best damn program I've seen in a while. Hope you all have a great day. Appreciate you listening. If you like it, recommend to a friend. Thanks a lot.